I call this fly a fathead squishy perch streamer for obvious reasons. Use a long shank and medium wire hook for this pattern. This Gamagatsu SS15 works really well. Start with a medium to fine thread in appropriate color right behind the eye of the hook. I am using Ultra Thread 70 denier in orange. Then bring your thread to the bend of the hook. I like to add some super glue or head cement along the wraps to keep the fly materials from spinning. I am using a product here from Fly Tires Dungeon called Pearl Web. Snip off a few strands, then double them over and cut them in half. Now tie them on top of the hook right in the center of the bunch. So it extends about two to three times the hook shank. Then fold over the other side and tie that in angling rearward as well. For this next step, I am using two other products made by Fly Tires Dungeon. First take a small amount of bullfrog dubbing in white and pull it apart in your fingers a few times to align the fibers. Then pull a small amount of starburst dubbing in pearl and mix that into your bullfrog dubbing by pulling everything apart a few times. Lay that bunch on top of the hook and tie it in in the same way you tied in the pearl web. Now pull about the same amount of bullfrog dubbing in yellow and align the fibers with your fingers again. Snip the chunk in half and mix the fibers by pulling them apart once again. Then tie this in in the center of the bunch on the side of your fly, but so it's right under the white dubbing. Then pull the excess over and tie that in on the other side of the fly. Pull out a slightly smaller amount of the yellow dubbing and dub it onto your thread to cover the hook shank. But only about a third of the way up the shank. Now, take some more white bullfrog dubbing and pearl starburst dubbing and mix them together again. But this time cut those in half in the same way as the yellow dubbing and mix those together. Then tie it in right under the fly in the center of the bunch. And stroke back the fibers so they fit nicely under the fly and not over the hook point. Then pull a small amount of pale olive bullfrog and light gray starburst and prepare them. Tie in that chunk in the center of the clump and on top of the hook shank. Then separate the white and olive dubbing and pull back the olive dubbing. Then bring your thread up and pull back the white dubbing as well. Then tie a small dam in front of the dubbing to keep it angled rearward. Now, make sure the white dubbing is separated evenly for both sides of the hook and stroke all the fibers back rearward. Now, prepare another half length chunk of white and pearl flash dubbing, but this time we don't want to use as much. About half the amount as the last time is good. Tie this in in the same way as the last white dubbing. For the top dubbing, I use a color called Blue Wing Olive, which is a very dark olive color, and mix that in with Golden Peacock Starburst dubbing. 
tie this combo on top of the hook in the same way as the pale olive. Pull the fibers rearward and tie in another dam in front of them to hold them back. Then stroke all the fibers back again. Now you can whip finish your fly. This next step is very important. Take your bodkin and pick out the fibers thoroughly. Some fibers will pull out and that's okay. This ensures that all the fibers are blended together. Then stroke back the fibers to regain that bait fish shape. You can also comb out the fibers with a stiff toothbrush. You might get some errant fibers sticking out of the front of the fly and over the hook eye. You can trim these off, but be very careful in doing so. To attach the eyes, place a drop of gel type super glue on each side of the fly. Then place the eyes on softly at first, so you can move them around to position them before pressing firmly. Now for a bit of detail. I like adding stripes like Perch would have with a brown sharpie. To ensure this fly holds a certain shape, and to help it give a specific movement in the water, I add a UV curing resin made by Solarez called Flex. Like its name, it flexes and therefore is perfect for this application. Add a small amount around the entire head of the fly, and then take your bodkin and spread it rearward about the length of the hook. Then simply zap it with your UV light. As you can see, it's very flexible, so it will move out of the way of any hook set when a fish hits it. However, it will keep its shape when swimming in the water. Just to help keep the eyes on a bit more, and for a nicer look, I add a bit more of this UV resin to the head of the fly, and a little over the eyes. Spread it around a little bit with your bodkin, and make sure some of it is over your whip finish. Then zap this with your light. The flexibleness, yet shape holding quality of this fly really is amazing. This fly not only looks great in the vise, but the layers of dubbing colors give a sort of translucency in the water. You can actually do a walk the dog motion with this fly. It moves so nicely and gracefully in the water. It also has a tendency to hold air bubbles and float, or sink very slowly like a dying bait fish. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check out my website for more videos at mcflyangler.com. Now, go catch some fish.